Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today we're going to be looking at Quagsire with a bunch of different attackers. It's a really cool um, version of Quagsire that I built here. And there's a lot of attackers in here. As you can see, there are different attackers for different situations. So we're going to go over all of them in today's deck. So yeah, let's get into it. If you guys go on and enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And here we go. So Quagsire... Right now is a pretty cool card. It has the ability Washout. It's often as like during your turn. Before you attack, you may move a Water Energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active. Using this is really good since you can, you know, just keep attacking with different things when you build energy on your bench with Aqua Patch. And uh, Quagsire did gain the ability of Naganadel now. Naganadel's charging up ability allows you to attach basic energy from it. So you can use Naganadel with Quagsire to have a consistent flow of energy. And we have a lot of different attackers here. So, like, the main ones you see are, like, usually just Lapras and Suicune GX. And, um, we do have those in the deck, but we have a lot more to offer. So, yeah, our main ones are, like, Lapras. Lapras is a pretty good hard-hitting attacker for this deck. It has Blizzard Burn. For three Water Energies, you do 160 damage. This Pokemon can attack during your next turn. Uh, pretty good attack. With a Choice Pain, you can do 190. So, you're going to knock out Rayquazas, Bolcephalon. Well, Bolcephalon, never mind. Rayquazas, Buzzwolves, um, Ultra Necrozmas. And if you play a Kikui with the Choice Band, you do 210. Obviously, that lets you take a one-shot on Zork GX and stuff like Lycanroc, which is pretty important. And uh, we have Suicune in here. Suicune has um, some pretty good traits. For starters, it has an ability Phantom Wins once during your turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle it and all cards attached to it back into your deck. Um, so we'll kind of look at how that's going to be good in this deck in a minute. It's two attacks for Cure Stream and Vernacles. Uh, Cure Stream for 3 energy does 120 damage. Not great damage. 120 is kind of bad considering Baby Buzzle has 130 uh, HP. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attacks do 30 less damage. So you can make them do less damage, which is nice. Um, you know, against Zoark, you can tank a little bit against um, uh, stuff like, you know, even Buzzle, like Buzz Garb. Taking 30 of their damage away is pretty useful. And then we have Vernicles, which does 150 damage, 180 with a Choice Band, and then you switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So a pretty cool attacker, and we have the ability Phantom Winds, which is really good in combination with Silvali GX, and we are going to be running a 1-1 Silvali line in this deck. Silvali has three good things with it in this deck. It offers a lot to this deck. We've looked at Silvali and Quagsire before. Um, Silvali has the ability Gyro Unit, your basic Pokemon to play have no retreat cost. So this gives your Lapras, well actually literally all your attackers, but Silvali and Gyarados, and again it on Quagsire a free retreat, which is really good. So you can actually, in theory, take a hit with Suicune, retreat it to the bench with Silvali in play, and then shuffle it back into your deck after you move the energy to your new attacker. Pretty cool um, combo going on there. So that's kind of one of the cool things you get to do. You have Turbo Drive, which is 120. Attach base energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. You can use Turbo Drive um, to build more energy in play, which is really good also. And then you have the GX Tech Rebel GX, which does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, so you can take a nice big Rebel KO, which is pretty cool. So Silvali is a really big player in this deck. Now, you can use the Silvali memory cards. We do not play any of them, as you can see, but if you want to play, like, a couple Silvali memories, like a fighting one, be my guess. And let's go to the other attackers now. I'm sure you're curious as to how these work. So then we have Lugia GX. Now, Lugia actually did see playing a Quagsire Suicune deck, I heard, so it is out there. So Lugia is um, not really seen much love yet, though I think it is good with Malamar. So it has the attack Psychic, which does 30 damage, plus 30 more damage, times the amount of energy attached to bonus active. So it can do decent damage, similar to Espeon Psychic, though it's going to do 10 less damage than that does. Um, and then we have Pelagic Blade, which is kind of the reason why I like it. You can use this with a DCE, so it can attack for cheap. Um, Pelagic Blade is 170 damage. The if this thing can't use Plegic Blade next turn. But Plegic Blade is still good. With a Choice Ban and a Kikui, you're going to still one-shot a lot of things. With a Choice Ban in general, you're going to one-shot stuff like Lycanroc and Buzzwolves. And one of the things I like about Lugia is it actually has a fighting resistance. So if you're against Buzzwolves, you do have a nice, little more tankier card, if you want to call it tankier. You also have 190 HP, so you are pretty bulky. You even have a cool GX tech, which you can bail out on Lost Purge. Uh, puts your point tech Pokemon an all-card statue in the Lost Zone. The only problem with this is, though... You don't get a prize card, but it is still a useful GX tech nonetheless. And then the other attacker we have here is Palkia GX, another really cool card. It is, again, not weak to grass, which is good, which is why I like having it. It doesn't have a grass weakness. Um, and it's another attacker in certain situations with the um, attack Zero Vanish GX, which is one of the reasons I like it. 
But Hydro Pressure can also be really good doing 60 plus 20 more damage times the amount of water energy on this guy. But we do have zero vantage, which can do 150 damage. And then you shuffle all energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon into their deck. So decks that build up a lot of energy like Gardevoir just get reset completely. So it's really good to just do that. So that's why I like having Pelkin in here. And then finally we have Gyarados GX. I'm sure the one you guys are hyped to see is Gyarados. Gyarados, 240 HP, monster of a Pokemon. Uh, with the um, attack Draconic Disaster, which does 100 damage. If there's a Stadium card in play, it does 100 more damage. So you can do 200 damage. It's really tanky, so it's got a lot of HP. It hits hard. Um, you can take more one-shots with Gyarados on those 250 HP Pokemon, which is why I like having Gyarados in here. Gyarados can do uh, 200 with uh, its attack and Stadium in play. Choice Fan would do 230. Then you add a Kakui on top of that, you do 250 yeah, and then we even have Dreadstorm, which is kind of useful too. Waterfall is good too. Take early knockouts, or with a Choice Band or Kakui, you one-shot Blacephalon for a bit cheaper. Gyarados is a lot more harder for Blacephalon to deal with because it's got 240 HP. And before Gyarados saw bodybuilding dumbbells becomes a thing. Just thought of that. Anyway, so those are kind of the main Pokemon. We are playing one Ditto. Ditto can go into Poipul, Naganadel, so or yeah, go into Naganadel, Savali, Quagsire, but mainly just for Gyarados. And we have our one Lele. So those are all of our attackers. Yeah, there is no Baby Volk or anything. Something you can add if you want is Prism Star Volk. We go into the items real quick. Two Acro Bikes, another good way to get energy in the discard. Three Aqua Patches, still really good to play. There's so much going on in this deck, it is kind of hard to consistently have like four Nagandals in play that we don't actually play for. It's an exaggeration. You get my point. Aqua Patch gets energy back in play. One Treasure can get us Poipul, Lele, Nagandal. One Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. Four Ultra Balls to search for our Pokemon. Two Brooklyn Hills to be able to just get our water types in play. And Sporters, four Cynthia's, three Lilies, two Kikui's. Kikui goes a long way with the damage output. One Sightseer, another nice way to get energy in the discard. Um, and I'm playing our, of course, three copies of Guzma. Three copies of Choice Band, really important for better numbers. Two DCEs for stuff like uh, Sovali, Lugia, and especially Gyarados because it needs five energy. But it's easier to build up thanks to uh, DCE and Naganadel. And uh, we got 10 water energies to round out the energy. So this is my Quagsire and Friends deck. It's a really cool way to play Quagsire because you have so many different attackers. So it's a fun deck to play. You, just, you have all these cool attackers you get to go with. I just got disconnected. Are you actually kidding me? All right, well, see you guys in a minute with the matches. All right, guys, go do some games with the Quagsire deck. And uh, let's see what we end up playing against. We got a lot of attackers, so there's a lot of variety. We'll see if we get to show off all the attackers, if it's possible. Alright, first game. Looks like we're playing Zoark Lycanroc, um, which I think we can try and beat. I don't know how I feel about this matchup, though, to be honest. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. I'll have to see, though. Okay, we do win the coin flip, which is good. We don't really have a good way to one-shot Zoark other than Gyarados, so I guess we have to try and get Gyarados into play. We do start with Suicune and Wooper. Not the worst hand, I guess. The turn when Lily's pretty good. Yeah, we'll have to see where we go from here. Alright, my opponent will mulligan. Don't really know if I want to draw the card, to be honest. Oh, it's not a Zork like an art deck. It's actually Tyranitar GX. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Titar is going to be interesting to play against. I don't know. Might as well draw the extra card. All right, we get a Poipul. We can Ultra Ball. Probably just get rid of a Naganadel and a Water Energy. And I think we should just get. Okay, let's see. What we prize. So we do have our Gyarados. We do have our Sovali. I might get Type Null here because I mean, if my opponent builds, then I might grab Ditto. Then no, but. I mean, if I show him I have Silvali, it's good, but I can actually use Silvali to, like, maybe, like, one-shot a Tyranitar if they ever fill their bench up. Tyranitar is going to be a little hard to one-shot. You know, we can't really one-shot it with anything in our deck, so... Maybe Type Null is the way to go. You can grab Type Null here. Hopefully, my internet gets fixed here. Well, Lily for six. All right, we got DCE. I'm gonna attach that. Can acrobike. 
Yeah, I guess we'll get Quagsire. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Well, I guess I could have grabbed a... No, you know, I should have grabbed the Choice Band, then I could have stretchered. Whatever. I don't think we really need Choice Band against Tyrantar anyways. It's got a lot of HP. We're never really... We're never going to one-shot it. It's fine. I think we'll be okay. So my opponent's going to do an Underground Expedition. Look at the bottom four cards of your deck. Okay, interesting. I have never seen that card before be played. Alright, let's see if they get a Larvitar this turn. That was their supporter for the turn. So, not a very good one. Okay, they're going to put an energy on Ditto. Alright, they do find a Larvitar, it looks like. They're going to Ultra Ball Wake a QE and an Ultra Ball. Now, when I played a Tyranitar deck, I actually ended up playing against a Savali Quagsire deck in my video. Or a Quagsire Nagandel deck in my video. And I proved that Tyranitar really does hurt those decks when you're able to get rid of their energy and put in the Lost Zone. So, this actually could be pretty bad depending on how this goes. We can probably knock out Ditto this turn, though. Should be able to. We just need to find one... Well, maybe not, actually. Okay, well, it's probably best to try and go for a uh, Solvali here and just start attacking him. Uh, what else do I want to do? I'll probably Cynthia here. I, well, actually, I could knock out Larvitar with Type Null. Which I don't hate. It doesn't look like there's a way my opponent can respond with the KO of his own either. I mean, I don't hate that idea. Because there's no way he's going to knock me out next turn, I don't think. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're safe. I don't think any Pupitars can do up to 110 damage. So, I think this is a fine enough play. Never taken a prize with a Type Null before, but uh, yeah, this is what we've come down to, folks. To be fair, the Ditto is going to still evolve, but it doesn't matter. Still better to probably not go to Larvitar. It doesn't really matter, but, you know, we get the prize with the prize. I doubt we'll even take that much damage anyways next turn. Okay, we got a Mysterious Treasure. We get another Ploy Pull down, maybe, if it matters. We should be safe here, though, so, yeah. He's going to Ultra Ball. He probably will get Pupitar. He might have the Pupitar with the ability to prevent it from taking damage. Yeah, that's bad. If he plays a DC, he can actually do 60 damage to me. Hopefully he doesn't attack another energy, though, either. If he plays another energy on this... Dang it, dude! He actually hit it off of an Instruct for 2. And he hit a Cynthia 2. Great. Great, great, great. Well, this is bad. Another water energy. We can treasure that away. Probably... Oh, man, this is actually going to be really tough. He's going to GX attack me. I might just try and retreat into a different attacker. Maybe I just attack with Suicune. I know I can't damage him, but... I don't... Maybe I just go into Poipo. I don't know. Maybe I just poison him. Well, I think my goal is going to be not let Silvali get knocked out. Okay, we got Ditto. Okay, I think I am just going to go into the Poipal here. Because we're never really going to need it outside of just whatever. So I think it's safe to just go into it. Is it all effective attacks? No, it's damage. So I can still poison him. I'd rather lose Poipul than losing my Solvali play. Because we might need Solvali to one-shot his Tyranny of Time. Obviously, he's not going to stay poisoned from this. But if he evolves, but who cares? I think this is still safer than risking losing my Type Null. I mean, he'll still have his GX attack, I guess. I don't know. We didn't even hit Silvali there, so it doesn't really matter. 
This thing might actually be a pain to deal with, though. I honestly don't really know how we're going to effectively deal with this Tyranitar. And we don't even have Field Blower. Okay, we ought to evolve Ditto. Maybe I just go Burnicles. See what we draw. Another energy is pretty good. We can... I think... I don't know. I think we will go for Burnicles. Like, I don't know. My opponent probably is not going to play that many Pokemon on his bench. I think my opponent just knows that I'm gonna... Yeah, my opponent probably knows what I'm trying to do. Alright, well, Cynthia, hopefully find another Poiple here. So we can Burnicles into it. Okay, we can go into a Wooper. Oh, but we're gonna lose Ditto. We didn't get Tyranitar. Or we didn't get Gyarados. I might just have to evolve it to play. Yeah, I don't want to lose Ditto. Yeah, we didn't get we didn't get our uh, Gyarados, but just so we don't lose it, we're gonna just evolve it into an Aganadel. I could probably just sacrifice a Wooper here. I mean, I could Cure Stream, but Cure Stream does like absolutely nothing, and if I lose all my energy, I'm in trouble. And I he should be safe from a Guzma, right? Well, one energy, maybe not, actually. I thought Lavatar had a two retreat cost. But I think this is the safer play I can do. I want to save my Jack Stack for Silvali, but again, I don't think he's going to fill up his bench. I think he's just going to play around it. Oh, rip. He's going to grab Lele. Please prize the other one. He also still has Wishful Baton on. Even if we take out this Tyranitar, he still moves all the energy to the other Lavatar. Ooh, he's not getting Lele. He's getting Macargo. So, does he just not have the Guzma? I mean, if he knocks out Suicune here, we are going to be in trouble. There's nothing... This is kind of why I do like having the, um... Oh my gosh. This guy played his hand down, right? This is why I kind of like having the DCs in this deck. Because I might need a turn where I pop off with Naganadel. That's if he gets Guzma. That's if he gets to Guzma, right? But, I can pop off in the Gandela Quagsire at any point, knock him out. We'll see if he gets another Tyranitar in play. Get a Pupitar. Okay, well at least now he can't do Guzma, which is good. There's nothing he can- he can't retreat and I doubt he's playing DCE, so we should be good. Yeah, okay, Cynthia. The only problem is, these Wishful Batons, we have no way of getting rid of them, so we have to deal with even more Tyranitars. Which is actually pretty bad. The fact that we can't break this Wishful Baton is pretty darn bad. Really unfortunate that I couldn't evolve into Gyarados. I think Gyarados is good in this matchup because it can't be one shot. It's really, really bad. Hmm. I think we have to attack with Suicune, try and get Solvali down this turn. Nothing left. I can use Lugia. Lugia's not really good. I could use his Lugia's GX attack. That would have been pretty nifty. Wow, we got like nothing off of that. Safe to say we're probably going to lose this game. And yeah, we can't stop Wish of a Baton, so... There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do at all to stop that Wish of a Baton. Which is just not good. Sightseer is actually really good though. That kind of gives us something. Man, if only. Maybe I should have saved Jextech. I could have used like zero vanish against Tyranitar. That would have been pretty good. Get all the energy off the board. I think that would have been a really good play. And there's like a 0% chance he's going to whiff Tyranitar. He has to like. He has to like bench a Lele or something, and then maybe I can knock it out that way. Oh, Plays Kakui. I was hoping he actually had no way to get to get that smooth over off. I don't know. It's safe to say we lose this game. There's no way we're winning this at this point. This guy has another wish of a taunt. All right, guys, go do another game with our deck. That Tyranitar game was unfortunate. I do feel like we could have made a lot of work with Palkia and Gyarados, but we weren't given the right situation. I kind of had to attack with. I had tech with 
Suicune there, because all their energy would have went to the last thing. So, I don't know. If I, I if I was given, like, better odds of hitting the Palkia when I needed it, probably would have been better off that match. Looks like we're playing against Metagross. Let's we'll see if we can get a good hand. They're going first. See what we can draw here. So we're gonna mulligan. Metagross, I think, can be a bit of a hard matchup. Max Potion is going to be very frustrating because we don't have a way to one shot Metagross at all. Unless we use Gyarados. So, Gyarados is gonna be one of our priorities in this matchup. So, hopefully, we can get Gyarados going. We did start with Ditto, which is a really good start. So, maybe Gyarados. The dream is alive. Gyarados can one-shot Metagross with Kikui and a Choice Band, so that's pretty good. Get you another Energy. Probably go here. We'll Ultra Ball away the Cynthia. Get Wooper. We prized our Whoopers? Bro, what do you mean? Oh my gosh. What kind of luck is that? Alright, well... Um, ah, that really sucks. I might as well just get Type Null then. Yeah, Type Null it is. I mean, Zero Vanish could be pretty good in this matchup too. Can't believe I prized both my Whoopers, bro. What kind of luck is that? Alright, let's see what this Lily gives us. Not a single supporter. Why am I not surprised? He's gonna play Poi Pull down. I'm gonna pass. Maybe next turn we can knock him out with Gyarados though. That's the plan. We need to get Wooper, so yeah. Can't believe we actually prized our Wooper, so that's insane. Oh, he's playing Sogaleo too. Okay, Sogaleo, as long as he isn't playing Choice Banner Delmas, I that can't one-shot Gyarados. Which is good, I guess. Don't know. It's getting Tapu Lele. Hmm. It's gonna go for Elm's Lecture, I guess. Hopefully we can maybe... We can also Lele for Guzma, I guess. I don't think I prized my Lele. So we'll be able to, uh... Should hopefully be able to take a prize this turn. Sadly, we can't knock him out with Naganadel. We will be... Oh no, we actually, no, yeah, we can knock him out the game, what am I saying? Yeah, we can do it. But I kind of need the DC for Gyarados, especially because I prized Wooper. But I think I should just take the knockout. It'd be better for me to knock out a Cosmog, though. Metagross, it doesn't one-shot a lot of my guys other than, like, Palkia and Suicune, but I can't one-shot, like, Lapras and Lukia a lot of the time. It's harder for him to do that, so it's probably better. And Silvali, it's probably better to, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking ahead, but if we can draw Gyarados here, I can definitely knock out this Cosmog. Let's see what we draw. There's no way to get a Naganadel on the bench either and knock out that. That's what I was also thinking. So we kind of have to knock out the active here. Hmm. Okay, we'll get rid of Suicune because we're probably not going to need it in this matchup at all. My opponent says hello and heart, and I, I mean, sure. Uh, I can get Naganado, or I can get Lele. I really want to knock out that Cosmog, though. Hmm. It is kind of a waste of this DC. Do we have our other DC in the deck? I'll feel a little bit better if we have the other one. Okay, we do. Right, whatever. Yeah, I guess this is fine. I mean, we knock him out, you know, I think it's still good to do that. I need to get Wooper, so if I get Wooper off the prizes, that would be amazing. I mean, we're not playing a supporter, which is the only thing that kind of hurts us, but we'll see. I think I might have prized a supporter, we'll find out, I guess. Hey, there's Wooper. We need Quagsire in this matchup, and again, Adele might be able to take a couple more prizes, maybe. If it can at least take me two prizes, then I'll be satisfied. And then in the meantime, we can try and build up a uh, 
Gyarados. I don't want Ditto to get knocked out, though. That's kind of what I'm scared of. Ooh, he copycats for six. Yeah, because if Ditto gets knocked out, I won't get Gyarados. And Gyarados is one of the best cards in this matchup. So Volley's also pretty good, too, obviously, for its GX attack. So if we can try and ride this game off with Nagando taking the first two prizes, Savali taking two more prizes, and then Gyarados taking the last two prizes somehow, that would be a pretty good way to wrap this game. Lele is also a pretty good target, though, for uh, an easy KO. So we can try and win the game off of those. Ooh, he's playing alternate cross. Now he's going to pass, so looks like we are going to be able to take two prizes. We're just going to kind of spread the energy out a little bit. We did indeed get an Ultra Ball, which is really nice. I can actually grab a Lele now. I can get Guzma and knock out Cosmog. I mean, I kind of think I should. Ditto can retreat, and I can knock out Cosmog here. I think we kind of have to. Or I just play my supporter for the turn. What's better? Building up our board state, or just taking the Cosmog out now while we have the chance? This is actually kind of tough. I mean... We can always deal with Sogaleo. Like, I feel okay about it. I'm not gonna knock out Cosmog. This might be a bit of a weird play, but I don't know, like... I feel like we can deal with that Cosmo. We have Gyarados, we have Silvali. Plus, if I knock it out, I'll still have a pretty bad hand. And what if he gets a KO with Ultimate Cosmo? I think it's I think it's better to uh oh yeah, right, right. Yeah, I think it's better to just play it safe here. I think it's better to just knock him out and kind of try and build up our board state. Though we didn't get a single Gyarados or anything, but I mean the more Beldums we knock out, the better too. Obviously, he won't be able to use Metagross ability as much. But yeah, I kind of like the idea of just taking stuff out now while we have... I don't know. Maybe I should take out the Cosmog. Who cares? I think we'll be okay. We still have we have a lot of ways to deal with him. I think we'll be good. Okay, so he has no Psyche in the discard. So we'll see if he's able to get anything here. If he has another copycat, I just gave him a free 7 cards to draw. Because none of the cards in my hand were really that playable. Just gave him a free 7 cards. This should get him Rare Candy Metagross or Rare Candy Sogaleo at the very least. If he plays another Pokemon on his bench, we can take a nice knockout with Silvali, hopefully. And also... Well, yeah, there's no way to do a Kikui play, unfortunately. He might even do Algorithm. Well, actually, he'll need another energy, right? No, yeah, he can retreat. Yikes, dude, this guy hit both the rare candies for that. What? Okay, maybe I should take out the Cosmo, but I didn't really expect him to do that. To be fair, he's only knocking out a Naganadel. So it's not a big issue. Alright, yeah, he's going for Soul Burst. If he plays on the Pokemon's bench, I can knock him out this turn with Silvali GX. I doubt he's gonna do it. He's not gonna knock me out this turn, which is good. He's gonna go for Soul Burst. Alright, let's see. Does he get. Dang it, he's not gonna bench anything else. And there's no way I can do a Choice Bank QE this turn, which sucks. I might be able to knock him out Gyarados. I don't think I can. Yeah, no energy in the discard. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, maybe we can knock him out Gyarados, actually. Um, no, we, no, yeah, we still need Professor Kikui to knock him out. I think we just keep attacking with Naganadel. Oh, this is pretty bad. Maybe I should have taken out that Cosmog when I had the chance. Probably, I don't know. Probably should have looking at it. Now let's see what we draw. Lily's not helping too much. Let's just keep building energy, keep spreading it out. Cynthia. Okay, we got choice band, which is good. I don't even know if I want to play that down. What if he feel blows it? <laughs> I do need Gyarados. Still no Kikui though. Where are you, Professor Kikui? I need you. 
I need you to one-shot these 250 HP Pokemon. What's with these 250 HP decks we keep playing against? <laughs> Honestly. I mean, we can put damage on them. They'll retreat, though, and knock me out with Necrozma or Metagross. Though. That's fine. As long as we can just keep the knockouts going with Gyarados and um, Silvali, we can still win the game. We just need to take two pri four prizes. It's not that bad. Lele and Ultra Necrozma, or both Leles, are still targets, so the win is still on the board. The win is still there. He's gonna fill his bench up, that's perfect. I wonder what he'll knock me out, though, with. I wonder if he's gonna take me out with Metagross or Necrozma. Doesn't really matter, as long as we get two prizes, we should be good. Let's see what he goes into. He's going into Metagross, which means we should be able to take him out here as long as we do not whiff our Silvali. We've played two overall Ultra Balls, we have a Cynthia coming in. So we should be able to get this, hopefully. If not, ooh, we might be in trouble. Um, just in case we do, we'll bring out Naganadel, or in case we don't. There's Gyarados. I don't think we're gonna get knocked out Gyarados this turn, but who knows. Alright, I do want to put another Poi pull down, but I don't have any left. Whatever, let's just do this. I need to get Silvali. We have two Ultra Balls, we have two Acrobites too. So, we thinned our hand down, so this should not whiff. Oh my god, it whiffs! What are the odds of it actually whiffing? Why did it whiff? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Dude, come on. Are you serious right now? This actually whiffed? Oh my gosh. Do I just turning point him again? Or do I, like, Blizzard Burn him? I kinda... Wow, like, dude, that whiff is so bad. Our hand's garbage, too. How did we whiff the Silvali, dude? Are you actually kidding me right now? My goodness. I can attack with Gyarados, but I'm not gonna knock him out. Dreadstorm does absolutely nothing. Oh my god. This is the end, folks. Maybe I just do collect. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I I think we need Naganadel. We need to keep the energies in play. I don't want to give him prizes, though. That's the only problem with doing this. I really don't want to lose Naganadel, though. I could go into Gyarados, but... The only problem... I think I will just do Collect. We can still maybe find what we need. Our hand's garbage, too. Well, I mean, we could technically, I guess, double Guzma means we can deal with the Lele's, but let's just do collect. There's Ultra Ball. Came a little late, though. That angers me that I whiffed that. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. I really don't want to give it two prizes, but I do need Naganadel. I need to keep the energy in play. If I had another Poipole down, I'd be fine with it, but I, I need to keep the energy in play. That's one of the ways we're going to be able to just keep up the consistency of our attackers, is with charging up. So 
so it's pretty daunting that I did whiff that Silvali play when I needed it the most. No Kikui means I can't even respond with Gyarados either next turn. Oh, he's taking a Soul a Sunsteel knockout. Or are you going to knock him out with Necrozma? Okay, he has Guzma. What is he going to bring out? Gyarados. Oh my gosh, he's going to knock out Gyarados. No. <laughs> <coughs> this game is <coughs> a disaster. <coughs> okay. This is horrible, obviously. This is not the way I plan this to go. Wait, does he knock me out? Actually, I don't think he does. No, that's 260. If only we just didn't whiff Silvali, this would not happen, and I wouldn't lose my ace in the hole card. Alright, this, this is so stupid. Dude, I'm actually so triggered. If you can't tell by now, I am very, very triggered by the stupid whiffs. Yeah, you know what, Silvali, you can go screw yourself. Oh my gosh, man, this is so stupid. Alright, um... I think we can still win, though, to be honest. I'm going to Guzma the Sogaleo and knock it out. Because then Silvali shouldn't get KO'd by... Well, if Silvali gets KO'd, I might as well just quit playing this game forever. I'm just kidding. But we should be safe here to survive. We have Lapras. We can win the game on that Lele, which is beautiful. So we're just going to... We're going to have to thin. All right, hold on. Yeah, I think we have to knock out Savali because it's technically it's harder for him to knock out Savali next turn. And then we use Lapras next turn to knock out Lele to win the game. I'm gonna Ultra Ball away. I kind of want to keep Sights here though. We, I guess we still have our Lilies. Okay, all right, we'll just do this. I'm gonna get uh, Lugia. This will be our second resort if somehow Lapras gets KO'd and then we'll at least be able to fall back on Lugia. So we'll take the Rebel Knockout. We'll take two prizes. See what we get. Quagsire and a Wooper. Pretty straightforward prizes. And next turn, we'll be able to win the game if he doesn't KO my Silvali. No, we'll still be able to win with Lapras. I guess the only issue with this is... Oh yeah, we can, yeah, never mind. We can just go back on Lugia and do a uh, collision plate. All right, we should be able to win this game even if he knocks out Silvali this turn with the alternate Krosma. We should wrap the game up here with either Lugia or Lapras on those Tapu Lele GXs. So this is all good. So I'm kind of glad I saved the Naganadel now. In a way, just having charging up is so good. Just get some of the field blower. It does suck that we didn't get to use Gyarados this game. I really didn't want to use it, but, uh, yeah, he forced my hand, and Gyarados just got wiped out from the face of this earth. But, we should win this game here. I don't really see how we're going to lose at this point, unless he, like, Marshadows me, and I do not get Guzma or Water Energy. My right, Choice Band will give him the knockout, but again, we still have game here on this Tapu Lele, as long as we have Charging Up. Might as well knock it out with, um... Oh, no, we actually don't have the Nopo. Okay, we have to actually take with Lapras. All right, never mind. I was like, wait, we can use Lugia. Unless we top deck DC here, it's not going to matter. No. Okay, well, that is game. We can just knock out Ultimate Crosma 2 with Lapras. That's pretty good. So I guess we didn't get to use Lugia. I mean, I guess I could Kukui and still draw into the DCE and then still win with Pelagic Blade. So I guess it's fine to still go into Lugia as like an option. Alright, well, give him the wall play. Gyarados sadly just got knocked out, and I was really hoping we get to use Gyarados here since it's such a good attacker in this matchup. But we were still able to win because of those early Naganadel KOs giving us what we needed. We were able to clean a win out, though that was a pretty rough game considering the whiffs. But uh, those Naganadels came in handy. So we'll see you guys in a minute with another game with this deck. Hopefully, we get to use Gyarados again. Alright guys, go do another game with the deck. See if we can go use some Gyarados this time around. We'll have to find out if Gyarados is good. I do want to make a Gyarados stall deck. I literally just thought of that. I was like, that actually sounds pretty evil. It looks like we're up against Zoar Decidueye, which is 
not a good matchup, I don't think. Just the Sijuai, I don't know. We'll see how we do. I'm not looking forward to this, I'll say that much. Alright, what do we start with? Lapras and Type Null. Not bad. Not a bad hand either. We're gonna be able to get a lot down. I could probably discard every card in my hand too and go for like a Lily for eight, which is good. I don't know. I feel like the Sidewise Sidewise is hard to deal with because it's so tanky, and it hits us for weakness. So I don't know how I feel about this. I don't even know want to play that down because I know he's playing. I know he's playing um thing. What am I trying to think of? Oh, and Vulpix. Okay, so we'll treasure. We'll just get rid of this whole hand. So let's see what we prize. We have our Ditto. We have our Gyarados. Did we prize our Silvali? We didn't. Okay, how many? What did we prize for energy? Looks like we prized two waters. Yep, two waters. Alright, we got both our DCs. Okay, just just for this, we'll just alt. We'll do this for Lele. But we prized a Whooper. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. Alright, so we'll do a nice big Lily here. For eight. Pretty good turn one. Now hopefully we get a whooper here and ditto. See what this lily gives us. Okay. Um I don't hate it. We'll ultra ball away water energy and I guess ultra ball. But I got ah, something else to get rid of, but I can grab whooper here. I don't think we'll be able to knock him out next turn, unfortunately. I don't think our hand's good enough. Maybe you could Kiwi could bail us out, but I don't I don't really think I will. We're probably not gonna get attacked in the active. We'll just play this here and pass. I don't think we will attack him next turn. We would need a lot, and it's not gonna happen, though it could be. I doubt it though. It's gonna do an Elm's lecture. We literally have to top deck Quagsire and then Kikui and do a water energy and an Aganadel or an Aqua Patch to knock out this Zorua, but doesn't matter. Well, actually, no. We have. Never mind. We can't use Kikui on Zoark, right? He's filling up his bench, though. That's good. He's gonna retreat. He's gonna do Beacon. Alright, we don't have a way to stop Beacon, unfortunately. It's fine, though. We actually really need to get Ditto down ASAP because if we can't bench it at all because of Decidueye. So let's see what we draw. There's Ditto. There is Ditto. I don't even know if I want to DC that, because I feel like he'll knock me out. We'll do Lily. We'll probably just do Collect this turn. Now right, we got Savali, so I feel a little bit safer. We have Aqua Patch. Pretty good. Might as well Aqua Patch to Wooper. Just build up some energy. We'll do Collect for three. Rip. I was kind of hoping we would get uh, the knockout there, but we have Guzma, so... We're gonna knock out a Zoart next turn, or maybe even take out the Decidueye with Rebel. That would be pretty good. We get Gyarados hopefully next turn too. I don't think he'll be able to double Decidueye me. I don't even think he'll knock me out with like a Ninetales. So Ditto hopefully is safe. I really don't want to lose Ditto. I really want to use Gyarados at least once in this video. So Ditto, you have one job. It, it's called Survive the Turn. Timer Ball, Double Tails. Of course you get double hands. Oh, he's going for that nine tails. No, that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. That's really annoying. He's gonna knock out Ditto now. Ditto lives matter, bro. Come on, don't do that. Ditto lives matter. All right, we'll s hopefully still be able to knock him out. We should be able to, as long as we can find Quagsire here. <sighs> he's gonna knock out my Ditto though, which is really frustrating. This guy just popped. How did, how did you just fill up your entire bench in one turn? How does that happen? Well, speaking of filling up his bench... Okay, now uh, we got Rebel, which is good. But, oh, maybe he's gonna knock out Wooper instead. Ooh, that's even more annoying. Okay, now we hopefully can draw Water Energy so we can knock out Ninetales here. At least we know we can save our Gyarados, hopefully, as long as it doesn't snipe at this turn. Looks like he's taking a Wooper though, which is fair enough. Wooper is something that, you know, is something we want to be having in this matchup. So at least Ditto survived in the turn, but Ditto lives matter, and it looks like the movement actually worked. 
Okay, so let's see what we draw. We hopefully can knock him out here. Please draw water energy. No, we drew nothing. Alright, so we'll put Gyarados down. We can Aqua Patch to it, which is useful. We do Dreadstorm at some point, I don't know. Our hand's pretty miserable though. Kikui, please just give us a water energy. Yes, thank you. The only problem is he'll still be able to attack me with Zoark, so we'll have to see what we get here. Wooper, all right, we got him back, nice. We got an Acro Bike, so that might help us a little bit. Get us another supporter. Bit of a waste of Professor Kikui. Obviously, we wanted to use it with Lapras and Gyarados for when we need it, but desperate times call for desperate measures to find that water energy. Well. We should be able to now build up another Quagsire, as long as nothing happens, but there's no other Vulpix in place, so... Yeah, Wooper should be safe. Good thing we got off the prizes too, obviously, because we only had one Wooper in the deck. So it was a little harder to find. We'd have to find our Stretcher. I was gonna Guzma me. He's gonna just bring out Gyarados, interesting. I see, because it can't retreat. And he's not gonna attack me this turn, which is good. Yeah, new energy. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll Guzma the Rowlet, maybe? Yeah, maybe just knock out Rowlet here with uh, Silvali. I'm fine with that. Uh, well, actually, we'll knock out Zoro if that Silvali turns into a Dark Trait. Or, yeah, Decidueye, sorry. Alright, it's gonna pass. Alright, let's see what we draw. Brooklyn Hill, don't need that. For now, anyways, we're gonna need it with Gyarados, obviously. Well, Acrobike, see what we get. Got Acrobike. I mean, if we get Nagandel here, that'd be sweet. There we go. We got Cynthia. Nice. We're not gonna play this turn, obviously. But. We can KO something. I could actually just trap the Decidueye in the active. I don't mind that either, get damage on it now. It's kind of tricky. Maybe our way to win is just knock out Ninetales, knock out Zoark. I think we'll just knock out that Rowlet. Because, yeah, I don't really want to see two Decidueyes this matchup. We'll see if Poifle survives the turn, or Wooper. I will see if either of them survive the turn. They should be safe. Wooper, hopefully, is safe. You need to find a Guzma, I think. And... I actually don't really know where to play this. Might be safer to put on Lapras. We'll take our two prize. We'll take our one prize, sorry. See what this gives us. Another water energy, not bad. I think, yeah, it's safer to build a Lapras. Because we find our other Kikui, we can actually just knock him out. I think it's more straightforward. Gyarados, we need way more energy on him. Because we don't have the Silvali Quag. The, 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 the Nagando Quagsar combo, it's not worth it. See what he knocks out here. I'm pretty sure we're safe. Yeah, he already attached. Let's see what he got rid of already. A couple cards, okay. Ooh, he's actually gonna feather the active. Interesting. I guess he wants to two shot my Savali. Can we draw Kikui? No, we do not. Rip. We're gonna choice bang Gyarados. It might be possible to knock him out Gyarados here, though. Not gonna lie. I think either way, we'll go into Lapras and just hope he does a nice roll-up. But... We could do 109 damage with Naganadel. That, I guess, is a decent option, too, if we want to go for that. So we'll play the Choice Pain on you. We'll play the Booklet Hill down. I give him another Vulpix. Whatever. We'll Cynthia. Hopefully we get Quagsire and Naganadel. No, we got Naganadel though, which is good. No Quagsire though, which is bad. So I was really hoping we could knock him out Gyarados this turn. That would be really lit. Where are you when I need you, Quagsire? But I think what we'll do instead is attack him with Lapras. Even if he just even if he does a ace roll, I don't really care. Hit him nice and hard. He's got 10 HP left. There's nothing that can snipe him, but we're forcing him to retreat Ace Roller or something. He's probably going to hit the Ace Roller. No, he's going to Guzma me instead. 
Still not gonna so volley, interesting. At least that thing's heavily damaged. But Savali did his job, honestly. The Fear Tree losing it is a little sad, but it did its job. It did its job. Ooh, counter gain. That could have been pretty big. Because it forced him to have to play the two energies. Okay, we should hopefully be able to take a KO with Gyarados here and then wrap the game up from there, maybe. See what he does, Feather Arrow 2. Probably the Gyarados. No, Naganadel still. So we're gonna be doing 100, 190, 70 now, so we can't knock him out with that. This is kind of annoying. I think actually we'll bring out Naganadel. Yeah, 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 we'll bring out Naganadel. I was like, there's nothing to retreat with, but Naganadel we can retreat with. Now, hopefully, we do find Quakes out this turn. Let's see, is there anything we can use with Broken Hill? Suicune. Nah. Don't need any more heavily damaged Pokemon. It's gonna be a big turn, guys. If we don't hit Quakes out here, we're in trouble. Okay, good. We're gonna be able to take a KO Gyarados, which is lit. So, this is where the fun begins, folks. We get some Gyarados action. So now I'm hyped. Now I'm hyped. Now Garrida. And we have the Guzma in our hand too, which is awesome. We can knock out Nine Tails. But getting the knock. Yeah, he scoops. Gyarados didn't get to attack, but we got to show off the Gyarados. And that's going to wrap up today's PC PTCGO video. Um, this matchup could have went a lot worse. It's really good, though, that we were able to get that Silvali knockout when we did, I guess. But that was a pretty good match. Pretty good game. We got to finally use some Gyarados, even though it was you could see it before we got to attack. But you get the point. Gyarados almost got smashed in. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe to Helm of the Road to 4K subs. Now I want to look at that Gyarados stall deck. I'm interested in that. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. See you guys on another PCGO video. Have a good day. Goodbye.